All right, we have here uh, the MBT four channel dimming chaser. And this is a regular chase controller. It's not DMX, it's uh, pretty much standalone. You, uh, you plug your lights into the rear of it. It has eight, has four channels, but two banks of four channels on the back. This is channel one, two, three, and four. And the corresponding LEDs are on the front. Here's channel one, two, three, and four. And the reason why I uh pretty high on this this uh controller is because it's not DMX. I've yet to learn DMX lighting. I know I'm light years behind this <laughs> behind the world and not knowing about DMX, but I really like the uh simplicity of just tapping in your own ch chase sequences and taking it from there. Uh this unit is uh audio activated meaning you can uh, put it next to a sound source like your speakers or something like that, and the lights will flash to the beat of the music. Um, you can also input uh, an audio source, uh, audio source excuse me, in the back of it, but uh, I prefer not to do that. I'd rather just sit it next to a speaker. But as I said, I really like this one because you can program your own chases into it, which I really, really like. Uh, so it's got a dimmer on it. It's got here's your audio, audio level. It's got a dimmer and a fade time in between chases. So when it's chasing one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, you can adjust the uh, speed that uh, it fades between. But uh, it's really cool. Really, really cool. You can hit full on, which turns all your lights on momentarily. As long as you keep your finger on that button, all the lights will stay on. The minute you release it, they all start chasing again. Tap sync is really cool because you don't have to bother with the speed adjustment. So if it's going to music, you hit tap sync twice to the beat of the music and your lights will chase to the beat. Uh, it has momentary flash where you can play the lights with your fingers on your own. And... Uh, It's pretty cool. It'll also cycle through. It has 42 different uh, it has 42 uh, different effects that it does. And this unit will cycle through all 42 or you can punch in whatever. You can call up whatever uh, function that you want of the 42. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to program a chase into the unit. All right, so what you do is you bring this mode select down to memory. So you're one, two, three, four, five, six. You're on memory. Now, let's see. Bring that down. Okay. Now you see the lights chasing right there. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And it'll continue to do that. And this indicator here is just showing you what unit will be lit when you have your lights hooked into it. I don't have any lights hooked in just yet. Uh, I did earlier. They work perfectly. But uh, right now, I'm just going to show you how to program a chase into it, and it'll take it from there. All right. So what you do is you hit the pro program select, and you hold down standby. Now, it's going to say AP. You don't want that. And it's going to say A5 or AS. You don't want that. What you want is that. It looks like it says PA, but it's actually PR for program. All right. Now it's on channel one. Now the program of chase. What do you want it to do? How do you want the lights to look when they're chasing? Right now, I'm going to take it one channel at a time. So I'm going to knock these faders down to zero. As channel one is lit, you hit program select. It's in memory. Now it's going to program two. What do you want it to do? Take that, bring that up, program two. That's set. Now it's program three. Bring that down, bring that up, hit program three. Program four, I think I'm going to bring all of them up. This is a pattern that I saw on, um, and set that. Now you're set. That's a four channel chase right there. And I saw this pattern used on American Bandstand years ago, years and years, back in the 70s, and I always liked that. So 
And I never saw a chaser that did the, exactly the same thing. So I'm going to play it back. I'm going to get back down to memory. So I got to toggle through these. Hold dimmer, hold sound, yada, yada, yada. Go back down to memory. And here's the sequence of lights that I just programmed. One, two, three, all on. One, two, three, all on. One, two, three, all on. And that's the beauty of it. You can speed it up. You can slow it down. Not that slow, my goodness. Yeah, it's a really cool unit. When you're programming it, now I only program four steps into the sequence. You can program up to 32, so you can really go nuts with it. You can really program uh, a lot of different effects, make your lights go around, back and forth, all of them flash, some flash, none flash, whatever you want to do. As long as you don't exceed 32 when you're when you're programming, 32 is the limit. So uh, really cool unit. I found it on eBay for like one hundred dollars and uh, it was worth every penny. So if you're lucky enough to have one of these. Uh, have fun. I know I am. I'm going to use it for my Christmas lights. And after Christmas is done, I'll put it back down in the man cave and uh, arrange my lights with it. Will it work with LEDs? I'm not for certain. I haven't tried LED lighting. I'm a little skeptical about plugging in a set of LEDs in here. But uh, maybe one day I'll grow a pair and try it. This is the MBT DIM4 4-channel chaser, dimming chaser. And I love it. Thanks for watching.